hi hi everyone i hope uh, you all are going doing good so today i came with the one uh, use case uh, the scenario is so where you are using the multi pick list using the multi pick list you are getting the records you might have seen this error oh so the error is saying uh, the multi pick list value can't use the like statement in the query this is we, we know right so usually when you are doing the <clears throat> when you are doing the sql query in apex you can't use a like operator you should use the include operator right so so before uh, going to deep dive i'll just give the structure of the uh, object model uh, so the scenario is here i uh, have an account account object and account account has the let's assume the address usually address type uh, address field okay so the address field we have a standard address field billing address shipping address similarly we i have some separate custom field called address that is a multi pick list here okay so the scenario is if you how the any one of the account has a main and go and search the database where the account contains the main account includes i'll not say the contains here but uh, contains the technical word but here uh, the in a flow scenario the contains will not work i'll say the include okay so main include the main in the pick list multi pick list value then find that record uh, the same record has to be updated as a parent record this is a scenario simple scenario uh, just to solve this problem i just created an <clears throat> one scenario okay i am not sure this might be the this use case might be then real time or not okay so so this is a one account right so as as the criteria should match i'll just check any account see this is a account okay this account address and this account address i mean the country billing country is the usa this billing country is the usa okay address type i'll just change it has the okay it has the main okay so it has the main so my intention is okay let me deactivate this pick list value this is this is the causing the issue actually the same issue we are facing i just deactivated this uh, <clears throat> uh, the main the address contains the main okay so what should happen now is if i while creating or while updating if i give the main address here so flow has to be go and find in the database uh, which is a matching country which is a matching country and the address contains the main this that account has to be tagged as a parent account for this okay so let's jump on to the uh, real issue so what i did is initially i'll explain so here it is a uh, record trigger flow so when a record is created or updated after after trigger yeah you can do that in a before also but i just want to be recreate the scenario that's why i'm going by the after okay yes uh, and then the condition is the record address contains the main see here i'm using the contains this will work without fail why because here we are not using the like command here we are using the which is a contains the string function okay this here it will work so that's why i have taken this scenario okay if it is a contains a main what i have to do i have to go and search in a database which is account database address contains the main this will throw actually error address contains the main and then billing address equal to record billing address 
and then I have to update as a parent trick parent ID equal to the whatever I got the ID. So in this situation, I am getting this error. So why? Because if you use the contains in a get record, it will be considered as a like command, right? So usually, as just now I said, whenever you are using the multi pick list in a SQL query, you should not you you can't use the like command. It should be the include. Is that include command is include operation we have? No, we don't have. We don't have the include operation, right? So how what is the solution? So the alternative workaround is. So what I got, uh, what I got to know is, mm, I will get all the records which is the billing. Yes, it's a workaround is a lengthy workaround, but definitely we have to do. We don't have any other options. Okay, I'm just giving an idea here. Based on the idea, you can move forward. So what we can do now? So what we can do, you know, so we just remove this contains operation from here. We'll get the all the records, which is the billing country or single record also. It's fine. Okay, so for my single record is fine, but not sure, right? That record contains the address. Uh, address contains the main. So that's why I'm taking all records. Or uh, if you want to give the if you want to give the limit, it's possible to give the limit. You can give it, but I don't have a limit op option here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just save this the new version. So what I'm going to do, you know, so I will just create a loop. So why? Because I am getting a many records here. Okay, so and then what I will do in the loop, let me looping all accounts for main address. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do you know here, I'm just creating one formula field. So this is a workaround. Uh, we Okay, I'm going to use the formula, not a variable. Is address has main. Okay, so the data type is Boolean. The variable I'm just checking is the current the loop, right? The current loop address. One minute. Git record. One minute. Uh, Git record. Sorry, I haven't selected here the Git record. I have to select. So I'll just select the last in first. So now I'm going to use the new variable is. Is address type as a main. I'll create a new formula. It's not stored. Okay, is ADDR yes, address as main. Okay, is address as a main data type. I'll select Boolean. Then I'll go for current loop dot. DD this address okay so address right this is a field it include let's say include so it has the include option right so so I hope uh, now you understood what I'm doing and just checking this include operator so if it is a include main it will return a true right so now what i am going to do you know i'll just create a
I'll just create a one decision. Just uh, creating a decision. Mm, yes, uh, you may see this. It's a lengthy process, but this is a workaround. Other than this, we don't have the other option. Is main has address. Yes. And then, uh, yes, correct. Uh, is main is main formula right uh, equal to equal to true so if it is returning a true that means it has so what next has to be do yeah uh, it will be looping and looping all the things right so yes it will be loop uh, but we can't end i think so i'll just try to end no we can't end uh, we there is no option this is one more known issue we, we don't have a break operation here uh, to stop the for loop. Okay, so now what we have to do, you know, we have to create one more uh, variable. Uh, if it is possible, this should be the static variable. We don't have a text template. Okay, store the value that can be used, but not the change okay so this will be the stored okay so i have given some name here uh, data type equal to you don't have id yes let's go with the blank value so whatever you stored the value it will be stored but not will be changed right so that's why what i'm doing is i'll assign the first time the first count id add account id i'll add uh, the variable i'll add the static variable okay we can't add the static variables here oh so We can't use the static variable, so let's change the static to normal. So constants we can't use here. Let me delete it. I thought that constant will be set up one time, but not possible. This is the one more learning for us. Yep. Okay. So variable variable name is. parent account id so parent account id this will be the id we don't have id option here uh, i'll go by the text okay, i'll just save it i'll go for assignment yes there might be a question let it be there uh, anyway uh, you need the account which is the that account was coming here right uh, So just current loop ID ID record ID yeah so current loop ID so now what I'll do I'll update that ID as a parent ID yeah where is my update parent ID variable parent account ID Okay, so let's jump on test for testing purpose. I'll do the debug here itself. Okay, that's fine. I'll activate also. So now I'm just coming on for. So this doesn't have the parent ID. I'm going to choose this account. Okay, so it has the main, contains the main. So this account also contains the main. So when I change something here, or when I am adding the main here, the parent ID account has to be come this one. Okay, let's go for debug log. Debug. Uh, this is update scenario. I'm just going to select this account which we decided. So it has the main. I'm just running this. The account country is matching here. 
yes there is no error see yeah of course it has ran the multiple multiple uh, it has taken a multiple accounts yep uh, i'll agree this uh, you can do one thing uh, if somewhere it is possible to stop you can stop and link to here so, so you just think about uh, there is a other possibilities also you just once it is reached you can connect directly to here just saying this one okay so what will happen at once it's come let me debug it i thought uh, this will not be the deep for loop in within a for loop uh, dml operation okay so okay what it is saying let's just see the error message the version of the flow is updated is active cannot be overridden okay so what it is saying is do the save as and then save and use it okay so i'm not activating i'm just trying to run this is that the dml operation will work in a for loop or not that's what my intention chalo see it's not looped multiple times it's just one loop second loop okay second loop third loop fourth loop the the account is not reached so so why this much of loops is happened you might have the question you might have the question right so i'll just going down see i'm just going down okay there is a error i'll see what it is we can't save the record because of the multiple list is is browser failed you is using dependency a parent account cannot be cannot be the child for the accounts already the parent okay what it is saying is this already parent has updated you can't change for this account already the parent is there you can't change the child again okay so uh so okay why it is as assigned the parent i just want to see here so if you see account id the condition so the first condition is not matching here is that main has it's it's written a false the reason is there is a multiple records right each and every record has to be come inside i think so this is not a good practice uh directly connecting with this think about the other other way of solution but uh, this is alternative this might be you for you this might be not happen but this is alternative so you have to create the formula variable that formula variable you have to use okay so i hope you guys got the work around what we can do here right so i'll just uh, running this i make i'll make it tag to you i'll just running this mm. <clears throat> okay so i'll just go and change or add the one multi pick list value here okay lad is sleep block also i'll just save it c parent account is updated <clears throat> i hope uh, you understood the my concept the thing is if you are using the multiple list value in a get record we can't use the contain operation here contains operation it will throw an error so this is my motto to explain this video i hope uh, you understood uh, thank you thank you so much to watching this video so if you are not still subscribe but please subscribe and share this video who knows the salesforce development so that for them it will be helpful thank you